This is Shuttle Launch Control, T-minus three hours in holding, and we are at the astronaut quarters in the crew suit-up room where we see our Commander Scott Altman being fitted with his uh, helmet. And our pilot, Greg Johnson, also going through the same activities and some verifications of the uh, pressurized launch and entry suits and being assisted with his gloves. And mission specialist Michael Good. There was Steve Lindsay, our chief of the uh, astronaut here at KSC. Drew Feustel. All of these crew members uh, suiting up and looking forward to uh, some very lengthy EVAs on this flight. Six and a half hours on average. Going across the room now. And that is John Grunsfeld. And he is uh, suited up with his helmet, ready to go. And we're coming over now to our mission specialist, Mike Massimino, waiting his helmet fit check. And down on the end here is our mission specialist, Megan MacArthur. And as we can see, most of the uh, activities now are well along and almost complete. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 56 minutes, 30 seconds, and we see the STS-125 Atlantis astronauts now are walking down the hallway led by our commander and pilot. Here we see astronaut Steve Lindsay who will be flying weather reconnaissance today. Jerry Ross, who uh, operates, runs the astronaut office here at KSC. They are starting down the elevator to the astronaut transfer van. And here are the astronauts now walking out of the astronaut quarters boarding the astronaut van. Got Altman now climbing on board. Here he comes through the hatch onto the flight deck from the uh, lower crew cabin. We're joined now here in firing room four with astronaut Janice Foss. Once, once you're on board, and as we're seeing here, they're helping them strap into their seats and things, and uh, is, is everyone very preoccupied with the activities that they have to, to do to get ready for the launch at this point, or are they thinking about uh, more about what's coming up on orbit, or what's the mindset when you're getting ready to be, when you're being strapped in, getting ready to go? A little bit of all of the above. <laughs> there are duties that you have assigned that change with time, and so you're thinking ahead to make sure that you're ready for the next thing you're supposed to do. 
you also have a process you have to go through that includes comm checks that you need to get done in a smart fashion so you don't slow up the timeline. So right now they are very focused on just the seat stuff, but as soon as you get in your seat and they move on to the next person, then they're listening to all the communications that come in, all the ground launch sequencer stuff that's going on, and trying to monitor any issues that might be arising might affect what they'll be doing next. Who are the, some of the people that are on the White Room crew that are helping you folks in? Typically, you'll have one person assigned for the mid-deck strap-in and one person for the flight deck strap-in to do the mechanical strap-in part. And then you'll have a second person helping with the comm checks on the mid-deck and the flight deck. You can, you can see... I think two people in white you know, on the flight deck at the moment helping with the process. And there, should, there would similarly be probably two people on the mid-deck until they're done. Attention on the net. This is the NTD performing the launch status checks. Verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC. OTC go. TBC. TBC is go. TTC. TTC is go. LPS. LPS is go. Houston flight. Houston flight is go. Myla. Go. STM. STM is go. Safety console. Safety console is go. SPE. SP is go. LRD. LRD is go. SRO. SRO is go. You have a range clear launch. And CDR. CDR and entire crew is go. And I copy that. That completes step 1122. Launch director NTD. Launch director? Yes, sir. Our launch team is ready to proceed. We are tracking no constraints. Okay, I copy that. I'll do my poll at this time. KC Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints, Mike. Thank you, Steve. KC Safety and Mission Assurance. KC Safety and Mission Assurance is go. Copy. Payload Launch Manager. Mike, uh, Hubble Program and Hubble Ground Processing are go for launch. Copy that. Thank you, Bill. Range Weather. Weather has no constraints for launch. Thank you, Kathy. And Ops Manager. Mike, we've cleared our issues. The MMP isn't tracking anything else. Everything looks good. You're go to launch. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Atlantis Launch Director. Hey, Atlantis, ready to copy, Launch Director. Okay, Scooter, look, it's a great day to go fly. So on behalf of the KSC Processing and Launch Team, I'd like to wish you, your crew, and the whole Hubble Space Telescope team a, a great mission. Good luck, Godspeed, and we'll see you back here in about 11 days. Well, from the whole crew, Mike, I just want to say thank you. All I can uh, really thank is that at last our launch has come along. It's been a, a long time coming. I know it took the work of the entire team across our entire agency to bring us to this point. Uh, looking back, it's been 50 years since uh, President Kennedy challenged us to do the other thing, not because it was easy, but because it was hard. Getting to this point has been challenging, but uh, your team, the whole team, everyone has pulled together. We're taking a little piece of uh, all of us into space, and at this point, all i got left to say is let's launch Atlantis. Thanks so much. Thank you, Scooter, and uh, enjoy the ride, pal. NTD, launch director, you, that, uh, you are clear to launch Atlanta. I copy that, sir. The countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. DLS auto sequence has been initiated. The ground launch sequencer now controlling the countdown. Monitor over a thousand parameters. PRPRP adjust and screen brightness across the board. Copy. ETD. CLS is go for orbiter access arm recheck. Atlantis OTC. Best of luck upgrading the HST to increase our knowledge for light years to come. Let's go for over there, APU start. PLT, perform APU start. LTC, PLT, and work. CDR, reconfigure heaters. CDR, is still reconfigure work. And OTC, PLT, three good APUs. Copy. We'll to start the orbiter aerosurface profile test. DLS is go for first sequence four. 